Hello YouTubers, this is SDJR7F88 speaking with a review of the mainline collet goods. Now, uh, this model uh, I got second hand a few years ago at the Formbury Model Railway uh, show. Uh, I think I paid about £20 for it, um, maybe £30, I, I can't remember. But um, it's a really, really nice model. It's been uh, weathered and um, been detailed. I'm not sure if we can see if I can get in the way of the building. It's got like a light dusting on it, sort of thing, as you can see here on the tender. And uh, they've added realistic coal to the tender, and also they've added, well the previous owner, has uh, added a crew. Uh, one of the crew, I think it's the fireman, is in the box. Uh, he has fallen off, but I'm going to glue him back in. It's a really, really nice model. They've done really, really well on the weathering. You can see here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can make out the number there, but it's number... 3210, which uh, luckily is a Sunset Dorset number. Um, it ran on the Sunset Dorset. It was um, seen on the um, branch line, the Sunset Dorset branch line between uh, Evercreech Junction and um, Burnham on Sea. But yeah, this this is a sort of a common local train which ran along there. Collet goods were quite common along that line. And uh, as you can see here, it is pulling my two. Um, Dapple uh, Suburban Coaches, uh, I think they're, um, I forgot what they're called now, uh, the Stan Stanier um, Suburbans, I think that's what it says on the box, And um, but basically uh, these uh, you get from Dapple, really really reasonable, um, I paid £14 for one, as you know down at uh, Paynton Models, and then I've got the other one on Hattons, which is the brake coach, both in the crimson livery. Um, I still haven't managed to fix the buffer on the end of the one I got down at Paynton. That's one thing you got to watch out for. Hattons did a really good job in posting this one because uh, I was a bit worried about the buffer on it, but um, they wrapped up in bobble wrap, so it was certainly safe. Um, but yeah, really, really good coaches. You can buy them in kit form as well. Uh, these were two ready made ones, um, but they go really, really well with the collet goods. And this is the sort of train which basically ran on the. Uh, branch line. Uh, sometimes they had little parcel vans on there as well, like a southern parcel van. And also there was um, really, really random mixtures of uh, trains as well. I mean, there was one uh, photograph someone took of a collet goods pulling a local train like this, and then another collet goods came out the siding, I think it was up near Burnham somewhere, I'm not sure, uh, with a freight train, shunted it onto the back. So there was a collet at one end, then the coaches, then freight wagons, and then a collet goods on the back. Um, pushing it backwards, so it was a really, 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 really weird combination that went to Evercreech, I think. So yeah, there's certainly some uh, weird combinations on that line. Right, um, so let's get her running. Um, I have it oiled her uh, for a while, and um, so she sounds uh, very loud. Uh, mainline locos are quite loud anyway, but um, yeah, she does sound like a, a bucket of bolts at the moment. Uh, but uh, she 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 does run, but um, quite loudly. So uh, excuse the noise. So this has been SDJR7F88 speaking and uh, thanks for watching.